Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Divinity Original Sin 2 Definitive Edition. I'm your host, Scholars Fade. This is episode 30. We finished up at the Pruitt House. Way over here on this side of the map. Bridgekeeper's house. I went and I cleared out her basement, making liberal use of alcohol to up my lucky charm. Alcohol will add plus two to your lucky charm and Red Prince already has one and so it made it three and I got a couple pieces of gear out of it So I was able to replace Everything on uh, Ifon and get the heart of the tyrant set get the tyrant armor off of him And it improved his physical armor by about 90 and his magic armor by about 50 So he's all decked out and stuff now that can't be cursed if he removes a piece and what we're gonna do now is head back out of town and take care of things over here in the Eastern Reach. Lohar has told us on the map the Wrecker's Cave is over here. There's a few other things to do as well. What I wanted to look at, let's see. Missing Magisters, Drifted Arena, the Curse, and seek. Oh, we need to do hide and seek first. We started that last episode. We went and talked to the shark. And we need to go inform these kids that poor Joe got eaten by a shark. And then, let's see, what else is there to do around this? Oh. Yeah. We got some other things to do, too. I'm gonna look at this, the road out there. Right, okay. Let's do red prints. Hello, Mr. Lizard. The little boy beside her looks at you. He picks his nose. <laughs> Hello, ugly. Ask if their friend's name was, is, Joe. Cool, how did you know that? Lizard, have you seen our friend Joe? Tell them the truth about Joe. They have to grow up sometime. The truth hurts, but they'll get over it. Kids are resilient. Tell them the truth. Kids are resilient. Tell them the truth. All right, kids, it's time you heard the truth. So here's the thing. Joe was eaten by a shark. The horror grows on their little faces. No, that's a horrible thing to say. I bet it wasn't Joe. I bet it was someone else's leg in that icky shark. She bursts into tears, then looks from you to her and back again. Neil starts crying too. <laughs> Neil, hug both children to you. Tell them it's going to be all right. After a moment, the crying subsides. Ben and Harriet snuggle into you. So where's Joe? <laughs> oh, let's see. <laughs> Tell him Joe is with his ancestors in the Hall of Echoes. Omit the word, hopefully. It's okay to say you don't know. You don't have to make stuff up. <laughs> I think we should go home. Come on, Ben. Thank you, Mr. Lizard. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, Lizard. They skip away. Still children, but now, somehow, older than before. Alright, and what am I going to take? Oh, Impalement Scroll, Razzle Dazzle Grenade. Mm, it can blind, but I'm going to take the fire arrow. Alright, there's a couple other things that I forgot about. There's, there's so much stuff to do here in this tavern. That I think I'm going to. But before we do the tavern, we need to head out of town. Because there's something that's going to bring us back. Oh, actually, and I'm an idiot. Let's not be a complete idiot yet. Let's go, let's go make this easy for ourselves. Losa's backpack. Fane's bag. This is what I want to do. Put this right there. Quick return to town. <laughs> Save yourself just a few seconds. Or, or a minute of walking here, anyways. Um, outside of town, if you take this right fork. Open this direction. And Mr. Lizard. A couple of different branches to town here. No, 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 no. Use this. There we go. Poison on poison makes poison go away. There we go. Let's 
switch back. There's this neat, like neat bridge yeah. here with this shark. I wonder what I've stumbled upon. That is just awesome. A shark jaw with a big huge thing hanging from it. Alright, this does get a little hairy here. Seems someone's been digging rather hastily. Push crusted rat! Cack sniffing well. <laughs> Where you hiding, daddy's boy? Where you hiding? Ask him who he's looking for. Snake, called round a pile of filth. Puddle of sick dog's piss. My apprentice! I loved him as my own. Spoiled, irreverent, arrogant, treacherous pustule. I loved him as my own. I want his head in my hands. I want his head in the dirt. Sticky with worms. Picked to the bones by buzzards. Bring it to me. Bring it to me. Head of a dog. Garvin. Garvin! Garvin. Ask what came became between them that led to his murder. Spoiled that green milk like a stinking egg. His hands were bigger than his head. He wanted and wanted but didn't know enough. Never enough. He got the business, same as he did me. Rat. Pig. Dog. You feel pity for the tormented soul and offer to help him get his revenge. Find him. Feel his heart. Squeeze it dry. Squeeze it dead. Bring the head. Bring the head. So you bring his head. That'll be a nice thing. We're going to do this. This must be Garvin's mentor. Buried in a shallow grave, poor fellow. A leg. Send that to Fane. Oh, and then there's this backpack. And the wooden box. And then it starts the fight. And this fight is actually... Happy. <laughs> like, yeah, I should have split everybody up before I did that, but I didn't, like a dummy. One of the things you have to do when you're playing tactician mode is split your party up. You kind of have to know about things ahead of time and prep everybody accordingly. Alright, this yokel, he's the one we really got to take care of. Can I get to him? No. Can I tactically retreat? I can. In fact, I can get really close to him. If I go right there, I'm going to whack him with him. That gets rid of all his physical armor, which is great. So then I'm going to do this. What do I want to do to subdue him? There's a whole bunch of different things you can do here each turn. I don't really want to do gag order. Chicken claw might be good. He's going to run around. I think for now I'll just do this. I love it when I have lots of options. Um, yeah, that's good enough. Oh, wait a minute. S destroy 63 to 70 magic armor. That would destroy all their magic armor for either one of those. Who's acting first? That one is? Okay. Let's do this. Thing. Let's toss it there. Sleeping blocked. And then he's going to come over here and try to attack me. Dang it. Yeah, you rat son of a gun. Alright, Ephon. It's going to be up to you. Oh, this guy has rats. He's got a lot of physical armor. I'd really like to just leave him for the Red Prince, but... Hmm... Well, let's see what we can do here. Oh yeah, I got tons of stuff to blow him up with. Let's do some of this. Poison Cloud, hold on. What's he immune to? Encouraged. Immunity to decaying has no other immunities. Okay. I'll yield to none. Start burning him up, buddy. Blind won't work because it'll be resisted by magic armor. Tremor grenade will be resisted because he has too much physical armor. Hmm. What is? What did I have for spells? Oh. 
poison wave scroll uh, that erupts from me, but I still might want to use that later. And a fireball scroll. How much does he have left? 33? Fireball scroll will get it done. Prepare yourself. He's gonna curse me? No, he's just gonna cripple me. Alright, red. Let's do some work to these guys. This idiot, first of all. Move him. Okay, because what I want to do is petrify him. Oh, I want to do this so Worm Tremor is even better. Stuck there. The great Los. She's gonna need a whole bunch of stuff this turn. Power infusion. I'm gonna have her bless Fane so he can heal himself. He may not need it though. No, oh, three turns of decaying though. Uh, yeah, because we know where we can get more source from the Meister's basement. Alright, in that case. What else would I really like to do? Let's encourage everybody. Get some physical armor. Was oh, this big of the wind? Ooh. That's tempting. Yeah, physical. Alright, guys, burn them up. Whirlwind. Gotta love that guy. Alright. This dude you can do something else with. Let's see. Rupture tendons. Actually, I got a better idea. Tentacle lash. Set attribute. You can't move, can you? Ha 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 ha. Suck it. Stupid bear thing. Pasha and Tasha. Ifan. For me, honey. You got all kinds of stuff. Winter blast. Now I'm gonna leave him on fire, but electrical discharge might be fun. Brilliant. The incarnate. Who can he kill first? I love his noise. Oh yeah. He's running. He's got atrophy, so he's just running. Oh no! Cast first dead on fame. You son of a rat infested turd. Backlash. I can't hit you with backlash, can I? But I can jump over you right there. Alright. Oh, I can probably just kill him. I don't need to knock him down. Oh, I say that and then I end up shorting him. Dang it. Alright. Executed. Ephon, the man. The myth, 
The legend. Phoenix Dad. That was kind of awesome. I need a good physical attack, though. Oh, I can just knock him off. There we go. That takes care of it. I'm gonna skip her turn. Skip his turn. Now you can pick. Bingo. Ooh, unidentified boots. Mage's boots. Okay. Kinda like those. Yeah, so we reach the point in the game now where everybody likes to curse you. So we're gonna have to hold on to bless and be judicious with it. Um, I wanna see about those boots. Mage boots. So are they eight to thirty-five? Ooh, yeah. Hello. And then are these upgrades for her? These are the way the hands me hand me downs work. <laughs> they. Good stuff goes to red first, and then it goes to the summoner. Alright. So now we know about that quest. Oh yeah, and there's a box way out here. I don't know why this box is out here, but... Red, do us a favor. We're gonna get some more alcohol. See, that ups his lucky charm to three. Oh. Just books. Nothing else. These are only worth five gold apiece, so I'm just gonna leave them. We're gonna go say hi to the troll. And then we're gonna head back to the Cité and take care of uh this guy. Oh, I heard the I heard the jingly jangly sound. As if somebody had just discovered something that I need to dig up. Don't see it though. Oh, Red, you do this. Okay, you do the conversation because I don't know if we need any. Back off, pigeon! This is my bridge. And I don't suffer fools on it. The enormous, unusually red troll looms over you with his fists clenched threateningly. His expression is stern, yet you can see the tiniest twinkle in his intelligent eyes. Didn't hear me the first time, Harrod. Say, you heard him fine. He doesn't suffer fools, and you're not a fool. He smiles a jagged and magnanimous grin. Each pitchfork pointed tooth seems to threaten you individually. We'll see. You want to cross my bridge? Side-eyeing the dead Voidwoken, say you don't want to end up like that. Well, I killed them. Nobody crosses my bridge for free, and they didn't pay the toll. Mind you, they hadn't tongues to bargain with, nor pockets for coin. But still, a troll must stand by his principles. Nod and asked across the bridge. He rubs his leathery hands together with glee. <laughs> sure, sure. One regular priced bridge crossing coming right up. And I don't want to hear any whiny little baby noises about it either. Tell him that he'd do better charging less since more people could cross that way. Well, just for you, a discount <laughs> of one gold piece. Hey up, cuckoo! Ask him if there's anything you can do to lower the cost. His eyes narrow to glinting slits, and a deep laugh shakes his whole frame. <laughs> there is one thing, the competition. Take out my competition, and I could waive the usual fee. Look around. You don't see any competition here. A little magpie feather named Mog. 
He's not fit to be a bridge keeper. He took over the other bridge across, and he's too cheap. I can't compete with his ridiculous prices. Tell him to give you the location. You'll see what you can do. That's a little non-committal, but I'll take what I can get around here. Grog drags a rough map in the dust of the bridge with one claw. He then spends an inordinate amount of time sketching a highly vulgar doodle of this marge he wants you to take care of. Too funny. There. Now, for the moment, you'll need to back off. No pay, no stay. Perfect. So, trolls in Divinity 2 are so much cooler than they were in Divinity 1. This guy's level 18 and... The general rule of thumb for a troll, for, for all encounters in this game is you need to be the same level or higher than the encounter. But with trolls, you're going to be three levels lower both times. We're going to be level 15 when we fight this guy. And we're going to be uh, level 12 when we fight the other one. And he's level 15. The cool thing is they have regenerative ability. They'll regenerate all their hit points in one turn if you don't use what they're weak to. You know, if you don't use their kryptonite. Um, so it's pretty cool. It makes for a pretty fun encounter. Alright. So we're back here at the inn. I'm going to take care of this. Uh... I'm going to try to do this correctly. Finally. Your colleague over there is absolutely useless. Garvin. I want to see if he had anything he doesn't. I'll have a bowl of the house stew, if you please. Ah, oh, my poor mentor. Lost to the wilds, I regret to inform you. Take it from me. Avoid the open country around here. The void woken or not to be trifled. Smile and don't reveal what you know. Say you'll take his advice. Very good. Now, on the subject of that stew. Tell him you're no server. Oh, pity. I've been trying to get a little something to eat all day. But the giggle heads who run this establishment don't seem to be willing to provide a fellow with his fair portion. After all I've been through, too. He lowers his gaze, then looks up at you expectantly. Relent and ask him what's the matter. His lip trembles dramatically. It's my mentor. My dear mentor. He was killed by those void beasts. I told him we ought not to travel in the hills, but would he listen? I obviously forgot to get this quest before we went out there. No. Now here I sit, my closest companion gone. Our precious cargo, worth more than Lucian's right ring, lost to the beast-infested wilds, and the waiter won't even bring me any stew. Say he's in luck. He found his cargo. Hand in the crate. <gasps> oh, my sweet. How I've missed you. Oh, how sweet it is to have you in my arms once more, safe and sound, right where you belong. As for you, my very handy friend, we have a score to settle, haven't we? Here, your reward. I'll spend it all in one place. Now, if you'll excuse us. Alright, so... Poison resist... I'm gonna grab the venom room. Obviously, the room is great. We're gonna get the stew. You can't fight him in here or everybody will turn angry. And you'll be killing half the town if you can survive it. So, you have to get him to leave. A crimp woman in a starched apron wipes a glass with a clean rag. She pins you with blue, steel-sharp eyes as you approach the bar. But the stew, done right, can get him out of here. Blessings upon our Lucian, seven times divine. Oh, let's see. Recall a common greeting from a generation ago and respond in kind, and his seven blessings upon us, undeserving. The soft lines of her face fold into a warm smile. She sets the glass on the counter and pours you a generous portion of an amber liquor. Sweet. I see your mother raised you very well indeed. Rare for a lizard, but all the more impressive. You and my nads might even get along. What brings you to Driftwood, darling? Oh, I'm not going to tell her about Niles. Uh, let's see. 
Say you're just passing through on route to Arx. You've still some way to go yet, then. What can I get you in the meantime? You ought to enjoy a little rest while you can. <laughs> Don't you worry. The Magister will keep you safe while you're here. My boy Niles over in the Joy makes sure of that. Oh yeah, Niles. <laughs> Ask what she has to offer. We've only got amber ale, I'm afraid. Can't spare the potatoes for hard alcohol. If you'd like something that'll stick to your ribs, I'd flag down Loverick and get yourself a bowl of the house stew. Okay. Coming right up, darling. The house stew. This is what we want. I'm gonna grab that. How much are those? 57. Right. Oh, wait a minute. Get him there. Yeah, it's cheaper there because I'm going to get my buyer, dude. We'll do this. This is the porridge. I mean, okay. Now, what I need is. Oh, we're not done yet. We need the secret to making the stew make this guy go out here and want to relieve his bowels. So, come out here. <laughs> Occupied, that's so funny. Oh, unholy hells. <laughs> Ask if she's alright. Do I? Oh, do I sound like I'm alright? It's what I get. Bloody tainted stew. Gently ask what she means, tainted stew. Makes a little, no, fish into some of my stew. Bloody mackerel must have been tainted. Save me, Lucian. So then you get the recipe for the tainted stew. So we go over here. And we look up. What is it under objects? Tainted stew. Yeah, right there. And so we have some vo any void tainted fish. So now we got that. Alright. X. Sorry. So now. We're gonna have our revenge on this sucker. Ah, uh, hello, my friend. I'm so relieved now that my precious cargo has been returned to me. Ask him if he's very, very relieved. Ask him if he's still interested in the house too. Always. I haven't forgotten what I've heard about the chef's mastery of the pot and cleaver. I'm simply waiting to have it proven to me. Offer him the tainted stew. Tell him this batch is especially worthwhile. Mm, it smells truly divine. And different somehow. Perhaps a special mixture from the house? Garvin tastes the stew, then begins spooning it into his mouth. He sighs with pleasure. His eyes go wide. Oh no. Oh no. 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 Something isn't right. I need to go move. <laughs> I, don't, I don't feel so All right. Oh, my stomach. Garvin, you punk. If I could, uh, if I weren't, uh. tell him you're here on business, business from his old mentor, the one he killed. Odds, I haven't the oh, energy for this. You want to know the truth? The old man was a fraud, always hinting that he had an amazing stash hidden away somewhere. But you know what I found when I tasted his flesh? Nothing. His intestines threaten you both with a high squeal. You had to push me, didn't you? This is gonna be messy. <laughs> oh, yes, it is. Oh, Garvin. Fortunately, Garvin's only level 9, so. Um, I'm going to. I'm gonna pass on the Red Princess turn. I'm gonna let Backlasher here. Where is his. Oh, he's back over there. Okay. Oh, let's see. Oh, and this will uh, magic armor and set sleep things to it. Yeah, it strips him of all his magic armor. Ifan, my friend. Come over here to the side. We're gonna make this easy. You're gonna uh, enrage. Glory is mine. 
Losa. <laughs> what was in that blasted stew? Well, any ice fan? Target's three positions. I don't want to do it. Enemies in the area. Just gonna chill him. We're just gonna try to work him down real quick here. Red, you've got the best one. Fire with this dude. That just about did it, didn't it? Yep. Oh, can you just ignition him? Oh, he's almost dead. At the risk of uh, hurting my friends here. Let's just finish him off. I <laughs> love it. Torched. Alright. Let's see what Garvin had on him. He's got Garvin's head. We'll send that to Fane. Send this to Fane. Pick all this stuff up. <laughs> Good riddance to you, buddy. Alright, so we can go uh, back out to the hills. But I'll do that next episode, so Garvin's taken care of. Folks, thanks for watching. As always, if you like the content, please subscribe to the channel. If you leave a question or a comment, I will answer. I will see you next time on Let's Play.